What If You Had Animal Feet? Written by Sandra Markle, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. What if one day when you woke up and climbed out of bed, the feet you planted on the floor weren't yours? What if overnight a wild animal's feet took their place at the end of your legs? Eastern Gray Kangaroo. An Eastern Gray Kangaroo's hind feet are super big. Just the sole of an adult's foot can be 18 inches long. Big feet help a kangaroo jump about 30 feet in a single hop. Each huge jump means a kangaroo can cover a lot of ground fast. Fact, Eastern Gray Kangaroos live in groups called mobs. When one kangaroo senses danger, it thumps its hind leg on the ground to warn the others. If you had Eastern Gray Kangaroo hind feet, you'd be able to jump up as six feet high so you could reach shelves with ease. Housefly. A housefly's feet have tiny claws for gripping. Plus, they have foot pads covered with hair-like parts that give off a gluey substance, so a fly sticks where it lands, even upside down on the ceiling. Fact, a housefly's feet are also covered with sensors that act like your tongue's taste buds, so that a fly can taste what it steps on. If you had housefly feet, you'd be a basketball superstar. You could run up the wall and across the ceiling to drop the ball through the hoop. You'd never miss a shot. Green Basilisk Lizard A green basilisk lizard's back feet have long toes fringed with skin. This fringe spreads out when it slaps its foot down. When it slaps its foot on the water, air becomes trapped under each toe. And when it runs fast, this keeps the lizard on the surface for at least 15 feet. Fact, when it sinks underwater, a green basilisk's lizard's fringed toes become great swim fins. If you had green basilisk lizard feet, you wouldn't need a bridge to cross a stream. And you'd be on the other side in no time. Cheetah. A cheetah's foot is made up of soft pads, a center one, and toe pads, plus nails. Shaped like that, it has a new name. Instead of a foot, it's called a paw. A cheetah's paw pads are tough and rigid like tire treads, and the cheetah's sturdy nails act like cleats. So its paws keep it from slipping during super fast sprints. These amazing paws help a cheetah run as fast as 70 miles per hour. That's faster than any other land animal. Fact, a cheetah's pattern of foot pad ridges are as unique as a fingerprint, which means no two cheetahs have the same paws. If you had cheetah feet, you'd be on time for school every day because you'd always catch the bus. Gray wolf. A gray wolf's feet are called paws, too. When crossing snow, a gray wolf's toes separate and stretch apart. That makes its paws bigger, and like wearing snowshoes, spreads out its weight. This means its paws don't sink in as deep, which makes walking or running easier. Fact! A special network of tiny blood vessels help keep a wolf's feet warm, even on ice. If you had gray wolf feet, you could play barefoot in the snow and still have toasty warm tootsies. Duck-billed platypus. A duck-billed platypus has skin connecting its spread apart toes. This type of foot is called a webbed foot. The platypus's front feet even have skin that sticks out beyond its toes, making them perfect swimming flippers. But the minute it starts to walk, dig, or scratch, the skin pulls back so the platypus can use its sturdy, sharp nails. Fact! 
A male duck-billed platypus's back feet each have a spur-like nail to inject venom, a poisonous fluid. This isn't deadly to humans, but can be very painful. If you had duck-billed platypus feet, you'd be a fast-swimming superhero with a built-in weapon. Barn Owl A barn owl's feet have four toes tipped with talons, which are long, curved, sharp nails. Usually, three of its toes aim forward and one backward, but it can swing a second toe on each foot to the back. This helps keep an extra tight grip on wriggly prey, such as rats or mice. Fact, a barn owl's middle front toenail on each foot has a tooth-like edge. It uses this to comb the feathers on its disc-shaped face. Flat feathers funnel sound into its ear so it can listen as well as watch when it's hunting for a meal. If you had barn owl feet, you never have to bend over to pick things up. Aardvark. Each of the toes on an aardvark's feet ends in a sharp, sturdy toenail. The front ones are shovel-shaped. These are great for digging a burrow for their home or finding ants and termites, its favorite food. Fact! If attacked by a predator, like a lion or a leopard, an aardvark digs a burrow to escape. If caught, it flips onto its back and lashes out with its nails. If you had aardvark feet, you could dig super fast, which means you'd be the first to find buried treasure. Giant African Millipede A giant African millipede's body is made up of segments. A baby starts out with just four or five segments, but as it grows, it adds on more. Each segment has about four feet. An adult may be 40 segments long with lots of feet and it needs every single one. It can travel by tunneling through the ground. So while some of the feet are busy walking, others move dirt out of its way. Fact, a giant African millipede has an exoskeleton, meaning the hard parts of his body are on the outside. So to defend itself, it curls up with its delicate legs and feet inside and armor on the outside. With giant African millipede feet, you wouldn't need anyone else to have a parade. You would be a marching band of one. Mountain Goat A mountain goat's foot is encased in a hard nail-like covering. Shaped that way, it has a special name. Instead of a foot, it's called a hoof. A mountain goat's hoof is split into two halves, and each can move separately. That lets it get a good grip on rocky, high places. Fact, each half of a mountain goat's hoof has sharp edged like plus a rubbery pad. Together, these add extra grip to keep it from slipping. If you had mountain goat feet, your feet would be all you need to rescue a kitten. White Rhinoceros Each white rhinoceros foot is an elastic pad plus three stiff toes tipped with hoof-like nails. With each step, its foot pad presses down, spreading its toes wide apart. This lets the rhino feet support its heavy body. And it needs the support. Adult rhinos can weigh as much as 7,000 pounds. Fact, in spite of their size, white rhinos can run as fast as 30 miles an hour, but only over short distances. If you had white rhinoceros feet, your family wouldn't need a car because you could carry everyone all at once. Wild animal feet could be cool for a while, but you don't need your feet to grab food, run on water, or stand upside down on the ceiling. And you don't need your feet to stay well-groomed or taste what you step on. But if you could have wild animal feet for more than a day, which kind would be right for you?